Hi everybody, it's Miss Brenner. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about persuasive appeals, ethos, pathos, and logos. And, you know, outside of advertisements, how you would use this kind of persuasive language in your own life. Um, examples pertaining particularly to persuasive writing. So just a quick rebrief on what these terms mean and some examples. All right. So ethos is the acknowledgement of the good characteristics of the speaker. So you would be the speaker. And when you're using ethos in your own persuasive writing or communication, you'd want to acknowledge characteristics that you have that show that you are successful, respectful, reliable, and supportive. So let's say you needed to write a letter to your coach um, saying why you should be the new team captain. You would probably want to use examples of ethos in your letter that show that you have always been respectful of your teammates and that you've been reliable, that you've always been on time to practice, that you're supportive of those on your team, and that you would be um, a good role model. Those would be ethos appeals that would really help you create a letter that would um, really compel your coach to pick you. So another appeal that is often used is pathos. Pathos is when the speaker makes an emotional appeal to connect with their audience. So that would be humor, sadness, joy, empowerment. Think of your emojis. Um, so anything that makes your audience have a large emotional connection. So uh, crying or laughter is usually what a writer would go for there. You might want to use this if you're trying to compel your parents to go for ice cream at some point. You use these with, you know, the best intentions, just letting you know. Um, but if you want to compel your parents to take you for ice cream, maybe you would try and remind them of the emotional times that you guys have had together when you went for ice cream, that it allows your family to bond more. And you kind of want to tug on those heartstrings a little bit. That would be a pathos appeal. So logos, our last one. It's the speaker makes an appeal to the logical thinking of their audience. So that would be your graphs, your charts, facts, and evidence. Anything that is undeniable because you have factual evidence to support it. So you might want to use logos when you're trying to compel your teacher to allow you to retake an exam that maybe you feel you could do better on. So you would try and draw out the evidence that uh, not only would you have to study harder to retake the exam and that you're willing to do so, that your grades have been improving because you have been changing your study uh, habits over the past couple weeks, and you would show them your grade improvement. You'd show the different um, factual evidence that you have changed your study skills and that you feel that being allowed to retake that exam would really help your academic success. So those are our three different appeals that we discussed in class, just a quick rehashing of them. And so those are some examples also how you can use those. If you have any further questions, you can ask me in class, but I hope that this helps. I hope you have a great day. Bye, everybody.